Welcome back, folks, on Twitch and YouTube. YouTube, come watch me at Twitch, YouTube or Twitch.com, Vertigo Tea Party. Uh, so, first things first, you might notice here, it actually is updated to use my goddamn cursor keys. So apparently there was an option and I missed it. It's under the sound section, sound and display. There's one little prompt here for uh, for the device for on-screen prompts. So I changed that. So think, fuck, we're good. I also followed some advice online. Hopefully we get better performance. Uh, the last thing, I haven't done it yet because I kind of like having it on so I can look at the FPS. You guys can't see it, but I have the uh, the stream or the Steam overlay on, the FPS one, so I can watch it and bitch about it in real time. Uh, if this doesn't work, we might try turning it off, but... All right, so let's... Anyway, let's talk to NPCs and then go murder some shit. Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive, though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers and gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots, although it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Yeah, it's, it's sound and display, but it's like there's the display settings and then there's sound and display. It's kind of strange. Much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. It's all a bit much. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Okay, ma'am. Hey, I always wanted a walking stick like that. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. You may let down your guard here is the first thing I expect someone to say who's going to stab me in the back. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. Yo, Travis the OJ. Long time no see. How's it going? How you doing? All that stuff. How you been? Hopefully you're doing well. There's nothing left to say. Be at your leisure. I'm wearing a hat. I know you couldn't tell that just from like looking at the obvious stream there, but are you going to play this? Travesty? I don't remember. Did you ever finish any of the Dark Souls games? I know you had started one. I don't remember if you'd finished them or not. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers, and explore the secrets of the Golden Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form. Writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. I think I do. Those little things. Why is it a good day, Travesty? I mean, other than, you know, you get to catch my stream. You do? Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well... What do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? I don't know. What What if I want to learn incantations of like the three to five fingers? Uh, let's see. So these are the the priesty stuff. Which obviously we're not really, really doing. So yeah, we won't be buying any of those. I was going to say, Plancy, you played the hell out of uh, May the gold Neo 1. Shine through you. Uh, 
started on day one. Yes, uh, that is really cool. Like I, I've said a few times, but the only thing that I've seen for this game was uh, I saw the the trailer, the gameplay trailer they released a few months ago. Uh, that's the only thing I've seen. So I'm going in blind as well. So uh, it's it's pretty awesome to to do that. My first one was to do that was Dark Souls Two, I think. Because Dark Souls 1, I had seen multiple playthroughs and speedruns, so I had the gist. Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm... well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. No problem, travesty. No, damn it. I swear to God, we'll ban you immediately. Praise the sun. God. Those are... It's it's a bit of a, a meme. It's also not a bit of a meme that I really hate the praise the sun thing just because it gets overused a ton. But... It doesn't make me legitimately angry, so it's fine. It actually kind of makes it funnier that way. Oh, yeah, Travesty is one of the founders. He's even got uh, his his uh, special VT card. He doesn't. He doesn't have a special card. Oh, yeah, how many... So how many people are watching Elden Ring streams right, streams right now? meet a young woman named Lanya. She's a servant to my house. She's been my companion since childhood. I've lost yeah. countless number of times about to find her like this. Praise the Honestly. sun. God damn it, son boy. of a bitch. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman named... She's a servant to my... She's been my companion since... I've lost count of the number of times I've about to find her like this. Honestly. Oh. She's... 576,000 watching? I'm actually surprised it's not more. Lanya. So we need to find Lanya. Lanya's lasagna, but don't get any Anya's. Why is it always a door? Uh. So, here's one thing that's going to be kind of ruined for you, Travesty. Is the messages. People are spamming messages all of, everywhere because everybody thinks they're a goddamn comedian. And they're the first person to put a uh, hidden passageway by every single wall that exists in the goddamn game. So, yeah, I've mostly been ignoring the, the messages. Ooh, that looks cool. Like a dryad, but it's all, like, silvery. Hope that wasn't expensive. Sup, girl? How you doing? Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout-heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. It's vulgar, but that's why I like it. Only played an hour so far. I'm kind of in... So, Travis, just so you know, uh, and this is... I'm Again, I'm trying to keep this spoiler-free for you. I'm basically kind of like in a hub zone. So, I fr you said... Uh, so, think, like, in Bloodborne, think the uh, the, the Hunter's Dream. That uh, Basically, you're there. So, you're probably not going to see anything spoilery until I leave. I don't think. Again, I don't know. But just fair warning. I totally get if you want to dip. Because, like I said, I'm the same. I've avoided uh, streams and videos uh, of pretty much everything. Some of a couple things I looked up. But, uh, but yeah. Also, if you're playing on PC, I would strongly advise looking up on Reddit. There's some tips on hopefully making it work better. So, just so you know. Ah, oh, my thanks, great champion. I was going to say, men only want one thing, and it's disgusting. You 
are very warm. We got her blessing. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. Aww. And you can just stay here for as long as you need... Oh, never mind. She gets bored of it after a while. Fair enough. You're playing on PS5? Well, okay, there you go then. I'd be curious, uh, so at some point... Uh, one, we need to do lunch again. I mean, like, in real life, not like eat lunch. But, um... I'm curious how it runs for you on PS5 once you get to the open world area. I mean, spoiler alert, there's an open world area. Because uh, I've heard some people complain about issues on the PS5 as well. So I'd be curious if you noticed them uh, too. Hopefully I didn't jinx it. <laughs> they, <laughs> Wait, there wasn't it? They always were. I think my favorite version of the astronaut meme is the... Uh, the Jeb one, because it combines two of my, my favorite things, that meme and the Jeb, Jeb Bush meme. Because it was like election results and the entire U.S. was like Jeb. And of course, the astronaut with the gun was like Jeb's face photoshopped into the thing. God, God bless Jeb Bush. But yeah, let me know, uh, Travis, I'm sure we can get the boys together. Your new face. No matter. It's all the same. My name's Dondre. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Dondre of Lestora. Master Hoog. And the Deckard Chew. Done two battles with corn. Nice. All right. Later, Travis. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, definitely uh, let me know about the lunch thing. About Rutterica. The curly boy here. She oh, yeah. She's fallen and can scarcely swing a blade. But she has a gift for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. About the chains on your legs. I see you've noticed the chains. I actually didn't. Nothing didn't notice special. It. I'm a prisoner and these are my chains. I'm trapped by the hold. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Yeah, I mean, if you're a prisoner, I feel like there's more to it than that. No, don't read too much into it. I have no grudge against you. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Given time, technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. You're not going to ask about who this her is that's so terrifying. You hate the term do lunch, Plan C? I, yeah, I can see that. You know what? I, you know what I hate when people say is they're having a meal, like especially like as a gathering with their family or friends is like, oh, we're having a meal. I I don't know why, but that just comes off as super, uh, like overly dramatizing. Like you're just sitting out and shoving food in your face. Mm, so we need two more smithing stones for that. I kind of want to upgrade that torch just because, but we're not. I'm not not that stupid. I'm so glad we had the keys fixed. And I take that back. Even though that setting was in kind of an odd place, I'll take it back. And I do feel like they should auto-detect if you don't have a controller plugged in. It should default to keyboard and mouse. I still should have caught it. Ashes of War. Oh, right, that's this thing. I forgot I could just press Q now. More stomp. Uh, it's kick right now. I'd rather keep the kick. Parry, definitely keep that. I should have duplication. I 
Well, it doesn't matter if we can't do whatever that is, but... Oh, hold on one second. On the shield. Okay, it's just showing what I already have. Got it. Anything? I mean, it's nothing I really want to sell. I don't think. We could probably start selling this stuff if we want, but... I'm going to keep it for now. Hopefully you find a wizard around here, Harry. It's Coke. It is not fucking pop. Door. Yeah, it is a door. Thanks, dipshit. Holy goddamn. The messages are so stupid. And it's like... Like, they're legitimately like, ha <laughs> Yeah, destruction. Yeah, door. Yeah. Yeah, this. Isn't this fucking hilarious? Like, dude, it was funny, like, the first 50 times somebody did it. You unoriginal bastard. Yeah, it is a door. Stop upvoting these things, too, for fuck's sake. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, I can mark it poor. Disparage. I will disparage the shit out of not just the message, but the person who laid it down. from Vegas. I've never been to Vegas. Likely you don't have the right. So to speak, you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Okay. Oh, we can use the stone sword key. We only have one right now. There's a chest in there. Remember there was an area at the beginning of the game. Let's wait. Let's look around first. I kind of want to use it there, but I kind of want to go back to the newbie area. One of these days I'd like to go to Vegas. I don't really give a shit about the gambling, but of course I want to try the buffets because of course, look at me. Obviously I want to go to the buffets. Is this the one that doesn't? Okay, it's blocked shut. We talk to your ass and your ass. Fuck this chair. This table. <laughs> what do you want? I guess he doesn't want to talk. I wonder if the message says something like, door. Or something incredibly useless like that. That guy looks important. Am I disturbing something? Twin Maiden Husks. I'm guessing this is multiplayer. Well, not necessarily. When invaded, request the aids of a hunter. Requests. Answers requests for summoning from hunters. So I think the blue cipher lets you help other players. From what I can tell. Grants the blessing of an equipped great rune upon use. I have no fucking idea what that means. Who increases memory slots? Which we don't have enough spells. Stone Sword Key, 4,000 for that. Hey, there's your spear. Who uh, Who was asking about the spear? There's one. Fingers. Why does everything have to be fingers? Uh, seal. I think that's for caster shit. I mean, uh, for like priest casters. Host trick mirror. Take on appearance of cooperator. Okay, so that makes you look like the person that you're helping, I guess. I mean, it's got attack power. Yeah, I'm not quite 100% sure what that is. There's a bow. There's a pretty decent chance. We'll buy that at some point.
Why are you dating Hestor when he's six? I'm gonna buy that bow. Oh, we don't have the decks for it. Or the strength. I'm gonna buy this uh, blue cipher ring. Because I actually might try to... Well, hold on. If you use a blue cipher ring, you will make yourself open to summons for rescue from other worlds. The multiplayer session will begin once you've been summoned as a hunter and your objective is to defeat the invader. Oh, that's for that kind of a thing. Okay, I thought it was more for helping them like beat a boss, so I guess not. Might as well keep it, I guess. I thought it was like to help them beat like a boss. Maybe you don't need an item for that. Because I did want to do that at some point. Like help people beat bosses and stuff. Like just a couple times. I just had a curiosity. It's all a bit much. For okay. Still looking for my I thought she might say something different. All right. Yes. Disparage it. Disparage it hard. I don't want to talk to the fire. Okay. So I think we can just head out. Right. So let's actually go back. I want to open, use this key back there. Also, we need to note that it's 4,000 souls to buy another one of those keys. Let's also see how much better the game runs, if it runs better at all. Uh, so far, not great. It's at 50 FPS. Oh, well done. Well done indeed. You made it through that entire mess all the way to Stormvale. And off you trotted to the Round Table Hold. My sincerest congratulations. But how did you find the Round Table? Oh, you don't have to say it. Before, the Round Table was chock full of venerated warriors. But now... It's home to puff chests and has-beens. I fear you've been terribly disappointed. I don't blame you. But still, the round table has its perks. Why not earn a seat? Fly straight and true, so to speak. I'm sure. I'll f this, this is very Dark Souls, where, like, your answers are just like, what? Like, I, I guess I'll pick this one. Ah, then you're interested. A wise choice indeed. To join the round table proper, you must acquire a great rune and request audience with the two fingers in the inner chamber. If you know what I mean. They are the purported masters of the grace that guides your kind, the tarnished. Hmm. Yes. Pay them a visit. So that you may see for yourself. So one thing that I did hear about this game via the twatters was you'll need a... Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale, to acquire a great room. Decrepit he may be, but a demigod he remains. And of course... An inheritor of a great rune. Worse yet, I hear old Godric's acquired a ferocious new toy to graft. So, prepare for the worst. Prepare for de- never mind. Is that you want to write some of this shit down because they don't bother putting in a quest- Cast quest tracker because that would just be asinine. What's the matter? Aren't you supposed to be earning your place at the round table hold? Then you must face Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. For without a great rune, you will not be granted audience. Yeah, somebody... The two fingers <laughs> in the inner chamber. Damn it. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me move this a little bit. It's pushing the, like, top of my helmet thing down. Helmet? I mean, cap. Uh... Yeah, so, yeah, I did hear about that. I think somebody mentioned the anonymous thing in here yesterday. Plan C. Okay, was it? Was it down here? Let's go check. Oof, man. 
And again, I'm assuming some of the frame rate is it loading, trying to load the background in the background. But. Oofs. Ah, okay, here it is. What? I ha what? I have one. Don't tell me you need multiples. Break one imp statue seal. Oh, you oh, for Christ's sakes, that's two. Okay, you son of a bitch. Well, let's go open the one in the, the chamber then. Oh, I thought you could get that thing. Guess just use the map. Yeah, living in California is redonkulously expensive. Holy shit. Way, way ridiculous to live there. Wait a minute. Pretty sure this wasn't open before. Uh, what do you need? I have little time. Oh, it's this guy. What do you mean, a house guest? Oh, are you aggrieved? At the notion you were but a visitant here, then you would do well to remember the first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace, lay low the shard bearers, and claim for yourself a great rune. Do so, and the doors to the round tables in the chamber will open. And you will receive the wisdom of the two fingers. I prefer to give the wisdom of the two fingers. Once the wisdom of the two fingers becomes your own, I'll impart to you a problem. As a true member of the Rye of Heim, I'm okay. sick and tired of All right, all right, we get it. You don't mind if I redecorate. He doesn't. Is Hollow Knight's team that tiny? Oh, I think I remember where it was. Who keeps rebuilding this table? Was... Oh, I didn't check this either. Need to update your paintings, though. Uh, I'm guessing that's like a PvP or a boss room, given the huge amount of bloodstains in there. And they were like, ah, you're totally safe here. No worries, mate. Crikey. Is it? God damn it, this is a two, I think. Oh, no, it's a... Then how can you tell... I don't know. I could have went around, but fuck that. Krampus Black Key Crossbow. Can I actually... use that? I wonder, probably not. Hmm... Wow, that requires more strength. And dex, which doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. That a crossbow takes more dexterity than a normal bow, but sure. Damn it. We don't have another key, so let's go back. I'm trying to think where I want to go. I'm thinking I want to get go back to that one place... And see if we can't find that death bird again, or should we go to the... Let's go back here. Let's make... We'll make progress on that end. I, we'll go back and try to fight death bird later, if we can find the damn thing.
Yeah, the the uh, mortgage on my house is like half the cost of an apartment, like in California. So this is where we ended last night. Wait. Oh. I keep seeing that and thinking, oh, there's an item there. It's not an item. It's a lie. Hello, other explorer. Nope. No, thank you. But there's not 20 messages that say jump for treasure. With a thousand idiots marking it as, oh, ha ha. That's hilarious, because if you jump, you'll die. By the way, I'm the first person to think of this. Damn it. I thought I had the sword equipped. That's fine. Also, I found uh, instead of the uh, cursor keys, you can also hold shift and scroll to switch. Which is kind of nice. Shift, uh, shift and up switches your right hand. Shift and down uh, changes the other hand. Which is actually fairly clever. I'll give them that. Uh, I set the timer. I've, I set it late though. I completely forgot. I wonder if there'll be skeletons in here. Almost. No, there's skeletons. Bows. Equip a bow to fire arrows. You can equip up to two air, two types of arrows to choose from at once. When wielding a bow with two hands, hold right click for precision aiming. Use the mouse to aim. Left click to fire arrow type one. Shift left click to fire arrow type two. Okay. Well, I don't have a bow. However, ah, oh, hell. I'm going to make a wild guess. Oh, you little bitch. Nope. Should a switch weapon, please. Switch, there you go. I have to get used to, um... Damn it. The timing is... Annoyingly annoying. There we go. Oh, bro. He was, like, dead. Oh, God damn it. They do this shit. I need to just melee these guys, I think. Academy scroll. It listed that under key items. We're going to go rest real quick. About to kill those annoying fuckers again, but honestly, that might be easier to just do with a melee weapon. It takes too long to cast. And once their once their casting gets off sync, it's annoying. Wait, what? I started, I read that, wait, are you, wait, are you the one who said you're from Vegas and you said cost of living is low? No, I, that can't be right. I missed some chat because it's going fairly quickly. Because I'm sure somebody like, oh my God, he just said something different. How could you have missed that? Somebody will do it. New Mexico. Ah, okay. I'm saving the runes, by the way, the soul pouches. I'm saving those for... Um, target, target, target. Uh, Please. There we go. Oh, you actually won a melee. Alright, well then. 
Ooh, 33 frames a second. Yep, still getting some weird jankiness, unfortunately. Uh, there's also some settings that I, I read about that could be possibly uh, changed. I'll try changing those at some point, too. Oh, I get you. Born and raised in Vegas. Gotcha. Oh, man. In here, like in particular, it's really bad. And yeah, I don't know how much... I mean, I'll use the horse, I'm sure, a bit. But I really prefer to not walk around on a horse. Again, it's not this game specifically. I just... Generally, unless the horse controls exactly like just being on foot... I'd rather just be on foot. Ooh. Get fucked. Oh, okay, that didn't count. Oh my god, dude, please. Graveyard at night. This seems like a fantastic idea. Oh, we need to check that one item we got here. Uh, once we pop out of this graveyard, I'll look. This looks promising. I have some problems. All right, before I forget... Let's see what this was. Academy Scroll. Give to a learned sorcerer to acquire new sorceries. Ah. Do we know a learned sorcerer yet? Oh, this seems like a horrible idea. <laughs> Touch Bloodstain. Hmm. I wonder how this guy died. I guess we'll never find out because it doesn't do anything when I press it. All right. Yeah, I like living in a place without super high cost of living. It's very nice. Though even now, like my... Even my house is... Probably more than doubled. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's like, man, it'd be the smart, well, theoretically, the smart idea to sell this house since I would make a, like, almost double my money, if not more. But it's like, well, I gotta live somewhere and I don't wanna move back to apartments. Housing, cost of houses are nuts. God knows I get texts and calls and shit all the time of, hey, my name is so-and-so, and I'm a totally local investor looking to buy houses. Call me if you're interested. Let's talk. There's also people on Reddit bitching about that, and they say what they've started to do is tell them if they... Because it's obviously corp, like these corporate entities that are mass buying houses, uh, and then they just rent it out. But uh, they say what they've started to do is tell them, okay, I'll sell if you'll give me... Ooh, crystal, bud. Get high, I guess. 420, etc., etc. Oh, hello. Can't see this before. Shabar Shabaribi Grape? Okay. Damn it, I missed the first one. Please take my grapes. I mean, I did. Maiden, dear Maiden, where are you? Please take my grapes. Oh, okay. 
Bitches love grapes, I guess. Uh, what about prying? You can pretty much never ask me a question that I will... Like, I never get offended at questions or anything. You can ask me literally anything. If I don't want to answer, I'll just say, no, nah, I don't want to answer that. I'm not going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe you asked that. That's personal. I'll just be like, no, I'm not going to answer that. On this house, it says 348? Good lord. That's about three times what I paid. Yeah, Velix. Uh, so it's an option under uh, under display. Uh, or no, it's under sound and display. Fast climb. Yeah, corn definitely seems strong. And and the AI should be able to control Slanesh fairly well, too. Because they can actually charge, you know, multiple units. Because, you know, they can, li well, literally multitask. I'm checking for seed and doors, by the way. But yeah, if somebody called and was like, I'll offer you... $800,000 for your house, I'd probably be like, mm, let's pack our bags. But nobody's going to do that. That's kind of the point of asking for such an absurd amount, right? Is that, you know, they almost certainly won't take it, but if they do, it's like, holy shit. I mean, I would prefer not to sell to those vultures. But, I mean, at that kind of money... First off, you don't have the right dog. 2,000. 2,000 appraisals for that shit. I'll read this one. I'm going to regret it, but I will. Be wary of something. Thanks. There's no blood stains. I can't see the roof. I don't like that. Okay, now there's a lot of blood stains. Is that the summoning? What is that sign at the left, by the way? Does that mean I have enough to level? Hold on. Oh, there's the timer. Yeah, but I... I but 400... Again, I still had the same problems. I That's why... I don't know if you, if you were here earlier, but I was saying... People on Reddit were talking about how they're getting all these calls for people who were looking to buy houses... And they said, they just started telling them, if you offer me like five times asking price, then I'll do it. Otherwise, leave me the hell alone. Because they it's more of getting rid of them than thinking they're actually going to get that. Is that the guy from the, the cover or whatever? All right. Why can't I block? Or, or attack? Uh-oh. Wait. I have no idea what's happening right now. I can't attack. Or do anything. Maybe we need something to come back here? Yeah, that would be... 
Like, if I was actually trying to sell, yeah, that's what I would probably go for. Hmm. Let's not see anything to interact with down here. I guess we have to come back later? Unless something's going to pop, like we triggered something, and now... I really don't like... Some of these doors just don't say anything. It's not like it's barred or blocked by a magical whoosie what's its It just doesn't work. That's what I'm thinking, Plan C. Okay, I can attack again. So yeah, that must have been a, pl uh, a safe area. But a very weird one. Alright, well, we'll come back to that, I guess? All right, let's make some progress. We'll ride, we'll mount up. I can use my torch on the horse, my horse ox. Church of Irith. It is a nice JPEG at the sky. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Sacred Tear. You're tarnished, aren't you? I mean, I don't like to brag. You could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Blintstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Mm. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. That symbol is safe zone. So, oh, that makes sense then. Okay. We'll donate ten runes. Well, bless you, bless you. You are a true saint. My name is Topes. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. I'm particularly great, though. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. All oh, right, I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Ah. Where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate leading to the capital, and the south gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. I just popped out. I don't know if I trust that. Sorcerer Thops. Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the academy, and you'll never reach the Earth Tree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a bluntstone. Nary a hint of talent for sorcery. But still, my place is at the academy. He's making a note about that. Yeah, he can do whatever with my body. I don't give a damn. Starlight! Starlight! Create starlight to illuminate surroundings. Not particularly useful. Looks like basically this is where we could have gotten the spells uh, if you didn't already have them. And it looks like we can't give this dude the thing. So, actually, we're going to ask about the... Another. Why, of course... I'm going to assume he says the same thing. Find yourself a Without one, you okay. you'll never reach the edge. I like that they they keep the important dialogue, right? It's not like, well, you didn't catch it that one time. Suck a dick.
I should go rest at the bonfire till it's freaking daytime so I can see. I wouldn't mind that spell so I could, you know, light up a room, but it's not worth the slot. Okay, so we came from... Came from this way, right? Yes, okay. Yeah, well, I'm keeping the runes so that, like, if I find a spell or a particular pe weapon or a piece of armor that I want that I don't have the stats for, I can just use them all up and hopefully then uh, be able to, to grab it. Oh, okay. Okay. They can send me some poor college kids, dissect me. This is what a fat nerd looks like on the inside. That'll encourage the little shits to exercise. We also have that castle area. I don't really know if we should go back to that or not. So far, the enemies aren't, like, drastically... I don't, I don't even know why I bothered trying. Uh, but, I mean, the enemies don't seem to be that much tougher, so I don't think we're, like, grossly out of our league. Yes, you can have some of... Well, you gave them to me. Therefore, the donuts become my property. I mean, do you know the amount of bitching... You would do if I was like, hey, I bought you some penny nut M&Ms. And then I ate them all. And but like, what? I bought them. You never hear the end of that shit. <laughs> I don't know what, why I bothered even trying. A biography of a life poorly spent. This looks... Wait a minute. I hear you. Nope, got... How do I keep... Hitting those backwards? Ooh. Actually. Yeah, it does have some hit points. Oops. Oopsie-daisy. I was just about to say, I think I need to look behind me. That should have been, that should have been maybe a little bit sooner. I do want to kill this guy, though. And those enemies in the trees. I want to see if there's something good we can pick up. So, rule number one. When you're backing up a lot, know where the fuck you are. Don't just back up blindly. Uh, let's see. And the thing is, when I come back, I'm like, I don't even remember this shit. I can't remember coming down this hill. I mean, it was dark, I guess, but... I think that's where I fell down to. Hold up. What the? She bought food for everybody but you? That's a dick move. Or did you earn it? I'll just speed it up to save you some time. Very lithely jumps off of that. Damn it. Fuck your fence. My property! No, no. Okay. So it does not go the way that you're facing the camera. I 
Okay, we got a lot of room here. I don't like those blood stains though. Where that fucking dropped to 25 frames a second. Shit. Oh, you motherfucker. It like went over him. Oh, right. Oh, these are way weaker. I think these are the caster ones. I know. I know, game. Oops. Warming stone. Sounds like don't starve together. Oh, wait, hold on. That's gonna bite me in the ass at least once. Nice, we got our shit back. Create sacred flask number of uses. Oh, fuck. I forget who we can turn that into. Twitch view. No, not that. Golden seed found at the base of an illusory tree. Create sacred flask number of uses. Can be used after resting at a site of grace. When the Elder Ring was shattered. Okay, so it looks like we can, we can do that at the bonfire. I mean, grace. When the Elder Ring was shattered, these seeds flew from the Eld Erd Tree, scattering across the various lands as if it, life itself knew that its end had come. Wow. Blessing of Erd Tree worshipped in the churches of the land. This is all. This is but a faint vestige. Vestige increases the potency of a sacred flask. Restorative effects can be used after resting at a site of grace. Okay, so I need to use both of those. All right. Oh fuck! I need. Look at what I went in there for. Use FP to continuously heal nearby allies. Yeah. Meh. Women do like their their sugar. I mean, I like sugary stuff as well, but to an extent. Like, I don't still like stuff that's super rich. Sodas is my big thing. Circus peanuts? I don't think I could eat circus peanuts now. I like them as a kid. But I don't think I could eat them now. Also, I mean, a lot of these areas look really nice. Just to throw that out there. That's one reason I'm kind of just looking at them. Very, very cool looking. I mean, that is one thing Neo was missing, right? Neo 1 and 2. It didn't have a cohesive world. It was like sections of a world. So it didn't feel like you were losing yourself in the world. Right? That's what Dark Souls and the From games in general uh, definitely have over, over Neo. 100%. Neo is more about like the, the combat mechanics just being incredibly satisfying to pull off and to learn and to do well. All right, so that's where dude was. Okay, let's go down here. We can drop down. We can drop down and not die this time. Like, cheat, like my go-to example is cheesecake. I can do one bite of cheesecake, and I'm done. I, I can't do more than that. It's just too much. Grape soda? I've never been big into to that kind of thing. But just Coke? Like Coca-Cola, not cocaine. I fucking love Coke. And milkshakes. I could probably drink milkshakes all day. Tastes like purple. By the way, just so you guys know, uh, I will be like exploring 
taking my time, enjoying this. I don't want to rush. I want to take my time and enjoy this. So this is going to be a long playthrough. I'm telling you right now. I mean, worst case scenario, if the people on the stream who aren't Tally just start to hate it. Or hate me playing it, rather. Then, then I might do it like off stream or something at some point. We can pull our boys out now, if you know what I mean. Wait, no, we can't. Oh, we don't have enough mana. Oh, we can kill a few dudes first. I'm sure he doesn't see us. Stealth. Ooh, he's got some eight hit points. He's like the commander, I think. Are we throwing shit? Oh, what is that? Magic grenades. I don't think we're supposed to be over here yet. I do want to clear that camp, though. We can definitely do it. I think I feel like we passed where we're supposed to go. Because there was again, there was that one area that had uh, like the castle type area. I'm pretty sure that's what we're actually supposed to be doing. But that's fine. I'm also completely cool with just exploring. <laughs> Get them, boys. I want to let them get the last hits. Little bitch. <laughs> Saw that coming. He sees me. Stealth. Stealth. Ugh, I hate coconut. I like oranges, okay. That guy's like, huh? Where'd that guy go? If only I didn't have this giant mask covering up my face and stuff. Oh, well. Oh. Almost. I wanted him to think he was going to make it. Nope, nope. I swear. Fifteen years and you still can't get a lock on that works consistently, boys. One of these days. Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook. It's a cookbook! A cookbook! Originally from Twilight Zone, by the way, not The Simpsons, not World of Warcraft, or the dozens of other things that copied that, or not copied it, but referenced it, would be more fair. Oh, smoldering butterflies, good. We need those for bombs, I believe. You're allergic to coconuts, really. My boss is allergic to apples. Which I didn't even know that was something you could do. It'd be hilarious if those little guys could backstab. 
It makes it funnier because he's like a big, he's a pretty big uh, Apple fanboy. Yeah, like he said for years, like he could never figure it out because I mean, who thinks that, you know, oh, I'm allergic to apples, right? Like that doesn't make any goddamn sense. But sure enough. They did, like, I guess he finally had tests done, and they're like, yeah, you're allergic to apples. He's like, what the fuck? What do I do for work? Oh, that's too personal. I can't believe you would ask that, Hester. That's really... I mean, let's try to keep separate personal life. <laughs> Never mind. I, I do quality assurance. <laughs> ah, I'm God, I'm hilarious. See, it's funny because I just said I would never do that, but then I did it, see? That's comedy. But yeah, I do quality assurance. Uh, I check... I used to do, like, a combination of checking... This place looks awesome, by the way. I like that blue hue. But uh, I do... I, I mostly... I, I used to do mostly, like, app, and then a little bit of web stuff. And now I do mostly web both like the external, like with the customer facing stuff and uh, internal tools. Because other people started doing the uh, the mobile because I used to do both. And we we've been growing. We've actually been growing during COVID, which is interesting. And uh, I'm going to rest too, I guess. Uh, so we've been growing the team and they were getting more and more developers and they're like, huh, that's weird. We got more developers and all of a sudden everything's holed up in QA all the time. I'm like, yeah, because there's like eight developers and one me. So they, they hired more. Yeah, I know. It's hilarious. I'm a hilarious person. Professional gamer. I'm working on it. You people, you people aren't spreading the word and the glory of Vertigo Tea Party enough, so I can't do this for life. So, uh, ashes or flask, flasks. Add charge to flask. Use one golden seed, giggity, to increase your number of flask usage. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, so wait. Wait, what? Okay. I've... Okay, I thought at first that it was only one flask type. I was like, well, that kind of sucks. Uh, let's do two and three. I think that makes the most sense. Increase amount they replenish. Use sacred tier to increase the amount of hit points FP replenished. Yes. Okay. Cool. And the gang. I need 26. Okay. So you actually can change your Ashes of War at a bonfire. Okay, that's neat. Not that I need to, but I really like that Ashes of War thing. I think that's a really clever change. I am an internal tool. Uh, it's not. It's not interesting at all. It's very boring. But I'll take boring over hectic any day of the week. Hey, it's a uh, yellow Santa, I guess. You're new around here. Like this place. Christ, you found me in my little nook. No matter, no matter. Hey, Traz. Money's as good as anyone else's. One second, Traz. Don't you take a look at my wares. <laughs> oh, but, uh, hands above the waist. Ask me how I got my hands on them, eh? I like his back scratcher. I mean, I get that it's supposed to play his instrument, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so Traz, Astro Astrologer so far, definitely, I, I I agree, it's it's the easy mode. I mean, I don't have anything to compare it to, I guess. I haven't tried the other classes, but I can tell certain bosses are definitely easier being able to cast. Uh, you still have to be careful, because I have seen like at least one person who was like, man, I, like, I played Astronomer and I still keep dying all the time. It's like, well, I mean, you still have to be careful, because you, you're casting time, and if you don't if you don't factor that in, if you're trying to cast right in their face, or if you're not baiting out attacks, you know, dodging and then casting, then yeah, you're still going to die. But I do feel like uh, some of the bosses I've, I've taken down, or many bosses, 
are definitely easier because of uh, this. I do think it's easier. Ugh, God, that would absolutely suck, Hastor. Attach the ways to illuminate surroundings. Ooh. Nomadic Warrior's cookbook. There's the astrologer staff. See, that's the thing, too. And just, to, and again, I know most of you guys either don't care because you're never going to play this or already know. But just briefly, the class thing when you start a Souls game, is it, it's not like a class. Think of it more as like a template. So, like with Astrologer, you start at X level. Your stats are already allocated in such a way, and you start with, you know, certain spells and weapons and whatnot. Uh, that's really, and that's basically it. Like the wrench, or the wrench, not the wrench, that is something that turns nuts, giggity. But the, like the winch, or no, it's a wretch, not wrench, wretch. The wretch is not worse than the other classes. It just starts at level one, and doesn't have any armor or weapons, to be fair. But some in some cases, that's better. Because you're starting at level one, you can allocate those early levels exactly how you want. Uh, so like now, if I was like, you know what, I want to try this whole astrology thing or astrologer thing. You can just buy the gear that I have now and just start casting spells and you could buy my spells from the other guy. So it's not like you're you're stuck playing a certain way. Now, I don't know if you can reset your stats in this game. I would hope so. Uh, if not, that's kind of a bummer. But anyway. I'm definitely going to buy this lantern. I want that cookbook, too. I know I haven't really been doing any crafting. But... Yeah, I have no doubt we're going to... And we've already fought one boss. That's so weird. We already fought one boss that had a magic reflect spell. I mean, and the other thing, too, to consider is they might have just left it this way. They might have been like, you know what? Magic is an easier way to play the game. So all those people who are pissing and moaning that, well, Dark Souls should have a difficulty setting. They can choose to play this, and it's probably going to have an easier time of it. Sorry, birds. Also, you can do co-op, which makes things a lot easier. I mean, it's saying we should go this way. I still think we passed something important, but I'm kind of okay with continuing to go. Hey, is there a sign here that says something about this being a dog? Wow. Hold on. Let me do it, because God knows. Hold on. I forget how to do it, actually. Message menu. With the message menu, you can write messages that players in other worlds can read at the spot where you left them. You can change the message format to leave more complex messages and also attach gestures. You can rate other players' messages. Whenever another player rates a message that you've written, your hit points will be replenished. Could this be a dog? LOL, guys. Hilarious. Now I'm going to get, like, healed constantly through the rest of the game. Uh, and yes, I'm using keyboard and mouse. You heal in a stealth spell. Uh, what did you start as, Traz? I actually kind of wanted to do uh, Faith Caster. I've never done Faith Caster in... in Dark Souls. I never finished a Dark Souls game as a sorcerer. I did play like halfway through. Oh god. Are we going to play this game where I have to look down constantly to see where the dark the deep water is? How about I just run and either I'll die if I die or I'll see a bunch of bloodstains. Because I hate constantly looking down. To try to see, like, oh, is this a dip? Is this a dip? Is this too deep? <laughs> also, that's what he said. I want to see what this is.
Magic the Gathering? No, I never did play Magic. Spirit Spring Jumping. While jump while on horseback near a spirit spring to ride its current high into the air. You won't take damage from jumping into a spirit spring while on horseback, even from a great height. If at a spirit spring while on horseback. I don't really want to do this yet, but at the same time. Holy shit! Oh, that was, uh, to a comical degree. Wait. Okay, that's just a statue. I thought it was... Oh, yeah, I, th I remember that in Fallout. The tragic game. Mel Factor is whatever the fuck that is. Let's not go into that. Why do I feel like that's like a PvP thing? We'll try it in a second. Ever jail. Yeah, that's right. I forget they always say that. That and the the prisoner looked interesting. One, the armor was kind of cool looking to start with. There's our boy. He's our boy already. Uh, and I like the the warrior. Kind of like he's kind of like a warrior mage type thing. And confessor can do okay. So they do like uh, weapon buffs. It's another camp. All right, let's go to this jail thing. That fat boy. Is there another one? No. Let me dodge my shit. Uh, I don't like other people casting spells that aren't me. Hot mage on mage violence here. That's way too late. I saw he was casting another one. Basically, you want to wait until he ties himself to an animation. Or it gets really close. Or if he actually has stamina. Probably not. Yeah, I don't think he does. Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't be doing that shit.
Oh, he's gonna have huge stamina. The second I touched the button. Oh, fuck. I couldn't see him. Yeah, I don't think enemies actually have stamina, which is a shame. I really wish they would start giving enemies stamina. Because it kind of sucks when they just can roll, 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 attack, roll, roll, attack. Without having to actually... Uh... Like, manage it. Neo was able to do it. Surely, these guys can. He looks like, uh, if Smo was a mage. Oh, b bullshit. You want a dodger? I kind of want to think about it. All right, so we're set to be super close, or uh, bait him out. Even that's going to be tough. Because the armor he's going to have a uh, really high... Um... Oh, he can only have one ball out at the time. I could fucking see. What the fuck is that? Don't let bosses chug ass this. Come on. So tedious. Damn, he still recovered from that. Yeah, but my melee damage is shit, though. I'm trying to get him when he comes in close, or obviously when he, like, misses an attack. But even then... Okay. Should have cast earlier on that. I want to get him as low as possible with magic. Oh, I'm gonna try doing a, a back step. Oop, nope, that's not gonna be enough. Now nah, back step's not gonna work. He's got too much pull. So we'll wear him down with magic and then just have to finish him with melee. Fiber connection. Oh, nice. Thanks for the lurk, lurk Joe. Enjoy your fiber connection while lurking. Now enemies with with well, I mean that would be okay if. Enemies didn't also have 10 times your hit points. That's the problem with giving enemies flasks. It just becomes like a tedious gruel of wearing down not only their way more hit points than you have, but also now they heal. Like that cheese hit, bitch. They also don't have shit like stamina... Like, they can attack and dodge all they want. It's in a recover faster from spell. That's what made Neo fights just feel so good, right? Is like, typically, typically, not always, but typically, the enemies uh, had to go by the same rules you did, right? 
Even though they cheated, which like when they did that, those fights were shit, right? The human fights, those were shit. A little late on that one. He doesn't always interrupt that. That's the best time to catch him. But like I said, even then. Oh, whoa! He summoned another one, and that one blew up afterwards. Because usually when he summons the second one, the first one disappears. I mean, I wish I had some big, sweet fire spells. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to switch to the wider spells, too. That might help a little bit. Probably not, since he's getting iframes, I imagine. They don't have stamina. They don't have uh, as big of cooldowns, but by God, they get iframes. No, it's not gonna make a difference. Hmm. He does really early on that one when I shot from really far away. I wonder if you could abuse that. Oh, it looks like you might be able to. He dodges those super early. I want to try something. Nope. They do not have stamina. I thought maybe he just had a bunch of stamina, but no. They've got infinite. Unsurprising. <laughs> it, that that one actually, I'm surprised, didn't hit. Yeah, if you cast from way back, he... he uh, he uh, dodges super early. I shouldn't have bothered with the second one. The starter staff? Yeah, I haven't found a better one yet. I did upgrade it to level 2, though. He just takes way too long to recover. But you can still get him in there sometimes, even though it technically takes too long. Like, he could recover, but he doesn't always. Oh, for fuck's sake. Should have done it again. He was far enough away that I think he would have dodged early. I cast again there because I was thinking he was going to uh, try to heal. I don't know how many heals he has. Probably infinite. To be fair. Oh. Don't fucking look at the empty thing, you big shit. Yeah, see, that one disappeared when he summoned the second one. Are you just gonna... Okay. He's just gonna do that all day now? Come on. Ah. 
get the uh, spacing just a little off. Better range a little bit on that. Jesus. A tedious pain in the ass that was. New Flame of the Fell God. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about, Michael. Like, I mean, uh, that's one thing I liked about Neo is that for the most part, they were fair fights. They didn't cheat to try to make a, a an encounter harder, usually. And again, the times that they did cheat, those fights were, were dog shit. Like, those fights were garbage. Like, the human duel fights where they would have, like... Insane poise, insane stamina regen, insane hit points, and like uh, they would have super armor on random attacks. Like when they when they cheated because they couldn't figure out another way to make an encounter harder, that's when they fail. Uh, let's teleport to a thingy. Oh shit! Actually, wait, did we get any... Hold on. Before we do that. Did we get any... Well, how did we refill our tears for that? Okay. No tears for fears? He healed like three times. Did he try to heal and fail? Because he definitely went for his flask like two to three times. Faith 41. Well, that's worthless. It did the empty animation? Oh, so he tries to drink even when he's out? That's pretty funny. Ah. Back again, are we? Not everyone can tell how good my wares are. You've a discerning eye, you have. Do I go back to Neo? I mean, you can... It it takes a while, but you pick it up again. Uh, I want this cookbook, even though I don't probably ever actually make anything. Neo's a game I definitely could just pick up randomly and play for hours, if not days. Like, that is hands down the best combat system in any game that's ever been made. Like, there's not even a debate. Like, it's just flat out better. What was I going to do? Oh, uh, let's see what we can craft now. Because we got two cookbook things. Spellproof dried liver. Temporarily boosts magic damage negation. Okay. Crystal dart. Uses FP. Throw to inflict magic damage. Okay. <laughs> it's not Kaku. I mean, actually, maybe that is Kaku. Kaku Glenstone. I'm calling it Kaku. Use FP to produce a magic bolt. Magic missile. 
I do that without it. Bone arrows, bone arrows fletched, shatter shard arrows, rainbow stone arrows. Rain, aim, animal bone arrow tipped with rainbow stone shard. What's the point of that? Bone bolts. Okay. I'm going to make it like two of these. Just for the hell of it. We might need it at some point. All right, here's the camp we came from. I still think we're probably not supposed to be here. But that's fine. I, I definitely want, I'm probably going to go back to the one thing soon. The castle thing. Stream corn. I would like to, but... I gotta find out like when 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 to do it is the problem. I'm guessing these things are deadly if you actually get close to them. So is there enemies in the trees? Wait, whoa, how did I do that? I have no idea how I Change the dual hand, dual wield. Hmm. I mean, I don't... I mean, I actually kind of would like to know how dual wield. Let's see what's over here. We could summon our little buddies here. Oh, I think that's because of the camp. Yeah, I think it's because of the camp. But yeah, it's more of a finding time. I've got dying light still. I've got this is going to be a bajillion hours. At least a bajillion. Possibly more. Nurgle's not better than Slanesh. Every fight, like, felt like a mini boss. What in uh, Neo? bats. the switch. Oh, Surge. The first one or the second one? The thing with Surge is I really liked that game in the second one, but enemies' damage was pretty nuts. Surge and Surge 2 are kind of like, are like Neo in that they very, very heavily punish any mistakes. Like, even in heavy armor, I feel like in Surge, you take a single hit, and that's like half your health. Imagine meleeing these things. Ugh. Lame. No thanks. I want your... Gross bad hair and guts on me. T 
directional parries. Yeah, I mean, even the first one, I don't think it really used that a whole lot. Or do you mean like the... I'm thinking the dodges, like where you have to like push up and dodge to jump under like a sweep attack. That shit was, was rough when you when you had to use it. Surge was definitely... And this is true with Dark Souls to some extent, but I felt with Surge... That was one of those games where there would be enemies, and it's like, oh man, this enemy is impossible. Like, I can't kill this thing without having to, you know, heal myself twice to kill a single one. But then once you find the trick, you can beat them fairly easily and consistently. Those weird, those uh, those robots, like with the like the thing they have four legs and kind of the the leg above it. You know what I mean? Or I guess an arm above it, whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Those things were a great example because I remember it took me a while. I was like, man, these things are a pain in the ass. But then once I learned like the the jump counter and all that, they became a lot easier. Jumping robots? Uh, they might have jumped. I don't remember. What are those frog things? Thing that hop back up. I mean, I, this is one thing that's kind of like Breath of the Wild, where there's fairly big tracts of land with nothing around. With, like, nothing. No items, or very little... This one seems suspect as hell. Very little items, very little enemies. Just kind of empty nothingness. Which... To some extent is fine. But at some point you're kind of like, okay. Is there a point to this? Am I missing something? Hell swinging guy, yeah. You fight him. You fight him pretty early on. I think, like in the, I think the first time you see one is near the beginning of level two. Damn it, Valix, Do you actually like Breath of the Wild? Have you actually played it? I mean, the game's not bad. It's not bad. It's just, I just, I'm blown away because like, sometimes there's games. Where you're like, okay, this is not really my thing. It's not my cup of tea, as it were. But I get it. Hmm, I kind of want to go back and take that wind elevator up. Because it seems like we're pretty close to that tree. But that tree is also enormous. So it might just seem like we're close. Alright, I'm going to go back to that. I guess that's why they give you a horse, is to kind of just blow through these areas quickly, which, I mean, again, I'm exploring. I don't want to necessarily blow through. I mean, until I've been here, right? The, now that I've been here, I'm like, okay, I'm going to backtrack so it's quicker, which is nice. No switch. I mean, there's... And there's people who just swear by it and just think it was one of the best games ever made and, like, it's so breathtaking and... I'm just like, How? Like, have you seriously never played? Oh, shit. Cinematic. That looked pretty badass, yeah. Touch Grace. I know. Actually, that makes it weirder because I actually know somebody named Grace. Every time it says Touch Grace, I'm like, uh, what? Yeah, this is the first one that gives you an actual amount. I mean, the world's so big, I think they probably thought it was a, a good idea. Which, I mean, I can see it. I just don't personally like using mounts a lot in games. Again, unless it just... Unless the mount behaves exactly as if I'm on foot, except I'm faster. I just personally don't like mounts, just in general. It's not a Souls thing, it's just a 
normal me thing. I saw those guys with arrows, and I'm like, oh shit, I can parry the arrows. But then I got really sad. Let me guess. They're gonna rise back up. Oh no, these guys are not skeletons. They have a bunch of arms, though. Can I backstab this dude? Bam! Wow! He shot them arrows. Like he's getting paid to do it. No, uh, none of the Souls games or Bloodborne or anything head mounts. I don't like that floating thing. It looks a little bit too inconspicuous. Holy shit! You... Uh... Okay, y'all all right? I feel like getting close to these guys is bad news bears. So let's avoid it. He did a really good shoot job of shooting the ground. Kaku Glintstone? We got some cuckoos. Yeah, no, I don't. Not into that. I, I, it's just... I hate when I can't control my character precisely. And I get that it's realistic. Obviously, with a horse, you know, you, it doesn't control like a human. So I get that it's realistic. I just don't like it. I don't like it. That is true. What the fuck is this? Oh, okay. Oh, hey, boys. What's up? Oh, got shit. Okay. Fuck. Okay, so when they lean back, they also shoot arrows. Good to know. Ow! <laughs> Medic! Ooh, marionette soldier armor. Whoa! Damn it, I'm trying to look at the art. Hey, look, more. It's Bloodborne dogs. I think these are like literally bloodborne dogs. Like same sound effects. Mm, the death animations seem different. The sounds are the same though. Like even the noise of them running on the, the ground. Yeah, I'll try to look at the enemies. Thank you. But yeah, they do have segmented uh, body parts. That's cool. And none of it hit me because they're not, like, aiming, really. They're just kind of shooting it at random. What happens if I get near this thing? It doesn't do anything, does it? It looks like it wants to, like, drop down and put me in a little cage. I'm not... Alright, well... It gives me stuff. So I'm gonna keep killing it. Go take a look at this. Hey, look, guys. A message.
I'm not gonna look too much for this. Ooh, it's like a dream. People will totally get all over that one. It's like a dream. I'm playing my dream game. It is good, though. The game is good. But yeah, I want to... I mean, I won't say Corn. going back to Warhammer 3, is probably the faction... One of the factions I'm not that interested in. Like, just thematically. I know, like... I should be all about the god of murdering shit. But. I probably should try him, though, before he nerfed the shit out of him. So I could see what an actual OP army is like. They walk like marionettes, too. That's pretty neat. Or like they walk kind of, I mean, I don't, marionettes don't usually walk, but. Oof. The triple threat. Also, I've noticed I have like armor up and a red icon down over there. Not sure what those mean. They were going out for a walk till I showed up. There will be no casual, leisurely walks while I'm around. I mean, there's really no way to get to the tree itself other than being up there, because, you know, the water, I'm assuming, is deep. Yeah, the shift... Scroll up is actually a pretty cool way to change your weapon. Or are those big guys? Ooh. Now that's what I call value. I don't know how to switch targets, though. With keyboard and mouse. Oh, shit. So the shadow's moving. I was like, shit, something's behind me. It's just, just tree shadows. Well, for gameplay reasons, you don't want, like, one faction grossly overpowered. What were you doing this whole time? You nutsack. My shield! It does nothing! But it helped him a little bit. Thank you for the... Flasks back, sir. Appreciate it. Tarnish gold. Okay, so on the map, I know you can put a marker. You can't put a text on it, but you can do that. Okay. That's not great, but at least you can do that. I really wish in games like this you could actually type stuff out. I get that can get really tricky, though. When you have to support, like, multiple languages and all that stuff, it could get a little nasty. Estelle was? Estelle is a stone slab. Estelle, or occasionally, Stella! When derived from Latin, is a stone or wooden slab, generally taller than it is wide, erected, giggity, in an ancient world as a monument. The surfaces of the stone often have text, ornamentation, or both. This may they may be inscribed, carved in a relief, or painted. Stella was created for many reasons. I know. You should have copied and pasted it before he did. Stole it from you. That should have been your glory. 
I almost accidentally jumped there. That would have been probably not great. Or I would have found the best kept secret in the game. Hey, birds. I don't know why, but that's a fairly amusing animation. All right, let's go fuck these guys up, theoretically. Oh, he's got a harpoon, though it's sticking through his back, which seems unideal for him. Hey, biggin. Oh, shit. He's got more hit points. That's not fair. I don't like enemies that have more hit points than I'm used to. He forgetting it actually takes stamina to cast. I don't know what people are talking about. Astrologer is really hard. Probably the hardest class to start with. Hit his head. Hit his head. You can stun them by hitting in the head. For sure. The Astrologer is probably the hardest. I just super skilled. How much? Holy shit. It gave me like 2,000 XP. Ugh. Imagine being without the internet for so long. For too long. People are like, you know what? I'm tired of being on the internet. I want to disconnect for a while. Like, no, no, I'm good. Disconnect from garbage like social media? Sure, that I totally get. Because social media is the worst thing that's ever happened to humans as a, as a whole. But from the internet? Fuck no. I guess if you're just one of those people who just can't keep your yourself off of it, maybe. Hold on, let me... Let me get a selfie. Look, I'm a fucking millennial trash. Wait, no, wrong button. There we go. That's the smart move, Michael. That is the smart move. Like Nirvana said, Ah, stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Is this going to take me to an area in Bloodworn? The shop is full of beasts. The blood makes a man sick. Before we get near this. Silver Firefly. Okay. Firefly? You mean like that really overrated show? Oh! No, I, I like Firefly. It's fine. I'm just kidding. Don't shit your pants. Every time I see one of these, I'm thinking we're going to fight the... Or we're going to get that big fat merchant. A tree spear. A weapon, eh? We're going to do the, like the big merchant from Resident Evil 7. I love that guy. I actually like that character quite a bit. Inventory. <gasps> there you go. Great spear. Let's see what it looks like. I can't wield it efficiently. It's hard to see because it's dark. There we go. If I can remember how to dual wield or uh, two hand.
I bet you did. No, he can't play that game anymore. That meme is dead because I've seen him in Discord saying things. Oh, I figured that would be enough to make some people drop out like immediately. E plus right click. So my okay. I need to hit the the thing. What do you call it? The bonfire? That's totally not a bonfire. And they were. I, it, that's another thing. Like they were completely shameless with the story. Like the beginning, the video is just like Dark Souls, right? It's uh, the big thing happens. Something breaks in the into like pieces. Or there's like pieces of it, and each of them's getting picked up by some great like lore or this person or that. But then like the last piece is some like you know little weak piece of shit, aka you. And you now have to go murder those things to get the things to put it back together. It's like there's the the woman who you go to to level up and who is basically your guide and talks like this. Bring me souls, Ashen One. I, I mean, bring me blood, Hunter. I mean... Like, they really... I Like, the story itself is different, like, the bits, but the skeleton is the same every time. Except for Bloodborne, I guess. Bloodborne wasn't really like that. But the souls, like, it really... They really followed that formula pretty hard. All right, Vigor to 15. I'm pretty happy with that for now. I want to go back to putting them into Intel so we do more damage. I know I keep saying I want to go back to the castle, but I'm kind of having fun exploring here. So E right click. E Damn it, I don't want to double fist the torch game. How about E and left click? There we go. Torch challenge. Hey, let's die because we're we're 100% gonna die doing this. 100%. Oh, they're going ape shit. We have a lance too. We do no damage with this. Oh shit, too early. Oh fuck. Got a zig and zag. Swung right between them. Nice. Perfect. Go back, because they're probably going to die, which is fine. I just wanted to fuck around and, and try this. I wanted to fuck around and find out. It doesn't help that the camera fights you when you're on the horse. I think the horse or the dog's going to be a little too low.
Teach this damn horse to back up. Ooh, beast blood. I can smell it. It's enough to make a man sick. Hey, fighting on horseback is easier. I'll definitely give you that. Like, it's even more abusable. Being able to run fairly... You do slow down when you cast. But you're still way faster than you would be otherwise. Oh, yeah, it's barely touched. Because I, I don't have the stats for it. Which I think that's the way it should work. I think if you don't have the stats for it. Like, it's cool that you can wield it. So if you're like, I really, really, really want to wield this. There's a lance, too. Uh, like, if you really want to use it, the game can be like, okay, go for it. Have fun. So that's cool. Options are... Options are neato. See, I don't trust that this guy's by himself. I really wish I could figure out how to change targets. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I bet I can figure it out. Hold on. Let me, let's murder these guys. The tricky thing with being on horseback is you can't shoot behind you, which, I mean, that makes sense. I'm fine with that. But you can kind of abuse it, like start casting, and then right as you're about to unleash the bolt, turn around, and then you'll you'll hit them. I mean, the other way works, too. If you turn around at the last second away from them, then uh, you'll miss... Hey guys, just hang out for there for just a second. I meant to switch. Maybe I should try streaming Breath of the Wild at some point. Maybe it should be one of those games uh, that I talk about before where I wanted to do a series where we play games that I initially like didn't like and give them a try again. We also got uh, armor from one of those marionettes. I highly doubt it'll be good for us, but take a look. Marionettes. Weight, 8.8. .8. Physical. <laughs> armor of metal bands arranged in a lattice? 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 Worn by marionette soldiers crafted to serve the sorcerers. The construction of this armor is remarkably crude, now rusted overly and severely dented. For a doll, the only thing that matters is that it does not break. I'm not going to read every item description, but I mean, that's kind of part of the souls thing, right? Yeah, that's another thing. My death perception's bad, so trying to uh, to do the mount thing while like running by it at, at a fast pace is a little rough. It does. I will say though, yeah, it definitely feels like sorcery is even more broken. Easy, easy. When you're on horseback, since I mean, you can, again, you can move while you're casting normally, but on a mount, you're moving faster. All right, I'm gonna go pee. You guys can go look at this. Hopefully, I don't get attacked in the meantime. Vertigo pee party, etc. Everybody stretch. <laughs> 